Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Sorry, Thursday Night Football, NFL. We got 49ers going into Seattle. Uh, go over the lines real quick. A little bit of line movement. Paquito, uh, minus five, opened up at Total is 46 and a half, and uh, 49ers are the favorite, minus 218. Seahawks plus 180 is the underdog. Line went down a little bit, so it's minus three and a half. It could be because of some injuries. Line movement is key in sports betting. Not only uh, lines on the actual play, but lines on the game help you figure out what's going on in the game. Uh, determine it's usually key factors that lead to that. Sometimes big slates, you just look for games with decent line movement. And those are the games you you pick out to dissect. You can find the good plays in there. But uh, total bumped up a couple. It's 49 and a half. And uh, money lines went down a little bit. Nothing crazy. But uh, 49 is 2 and 3. Battling the Seahawks, 3 and 2. 49 is coached by Shatterhand. Coach Shatterhand. And... Uh, Seahawks got Mike McDonald. He was a DC for uh, the Ravens last year. The uh, defensive coordinator. I just try to slide some shit on the screen while I'm talking. Uh, tough loss to Arizona last week. Forty Nine ers had. He got uh, their field goal kicker got hurt, and uh, they couldn't kick field goals at the end of the game. Uh, a couple penalties and stuff too. Uh, Seahawks coming off two straight losses. This is their third game in 11 days. Uh, 49ers have beat Seattle the last five times they played. Uh, 49ers, last three Thursday night footballs, they have won three times they played. Uh, Seattle's lost the last four they've played. Everyone's on that Juan Jennings. Uh, what else? What else? Kicker got hurt. I already said that. Uh, the kicker for Seattle hasn't been that good. He's uh, 8 for 11. Throw some injuries. That's it. All these injuries are not final yet, but uh, definitely some key people hurt or might be out. Might be, uh, you know, limited. You got Kittle, you got uh, Ward, Jatavius Ward, Fred Warner, Trent Williams, Juice Check, Conley, uh, Cowing, Jake Moody, the kicker, Mitchell's been out, McCaffrey's been out. Seattle got some too. A little roster thing. They definitely uh missing McCaffrey. Uh ranked thirtieth in the red zone this year. Last year they were almost first. Purdy, he got eight TDs, four interceptions. Uh last week they didn't run the ball much. I don't know why. It was pretty foolish. Uh 60 40 pass. They had uh they ran like twenty times. Uh, o line's pretty good. 49ers, a couple good players, a couple veterans. Uh, dude, Aaron Banks, the left guard, has been having some issues, so Seattle might try to exploit him. He's, he's the weak link. Um, running back, Jordan Mason, technically the third back. He's uh, McCaffrey's out, Mitchell's out for the year. Uh, he's been doing real well. Uh, second in the league in rushing, 500 plus yards. He's first in the league on carries at 10 yards or more. And uh, he leads the, the league in yards after contact. So he's a beast. I don't know why they're not running the ball with him. Uh, he could catch as well. 
Um, you guys already know they got they got Ayuk who finally had a good a good game last week. He's been slow, so um, you can't tell me that uh, missing summer league and all that shit didn't didn't affect him. It took him four or five games to get to get a good game. Uh, they got Jennings. I've been betting Jennings for a while. Last week he had like fucking four yards. But before that he had over 160, 80. Uh, they got his yards at like 25, 27 or some shit. It's a good play. Uh, Debo, 17 catches, 200 plus yards. 15 rushes for only 36 yards so far. So sun's up with that. Uh, you also got to be careful because a lot of times they'll run that X out where they just throw the ball. <laughs> He's on the sideline. If it's back a little bit, it's considered a run. Uh I've got screwed with that receiving yards last year. I remember they put it down as a run, and it was, it was a pass, but it was behind the line. Uh, Kittle, Beeston, three touchdowns, 23 seconds, 225 yards. 49 has got to get back to running the ball. Seahawks, they don't got a good run defense, and uh, – 49ers just got to you. They can't be one-dimensional. Bailey ran it last week. Uh, you run the ball, opens up the play option pass and everything else. Uh, Seahawks defense is not getting to the QB or stopping the rush. Definitely got to tighten up. They've been having problems with the depth, some uh, injuries. McDonald, the coach, when he was the uh, – Defensive coordinator for the Ravens last year. Uh, he was able to have a good game plan to go against Purdy. Uh, ran a bunch of stunts and fake shit and uh, switches. And they uh, were able to trick Purdy, and he ended up throwing actually four picks. Uh, so maybe he got some tricks for him today. Uh, Seahawks offense, they've been passing a lot, 130 times in the last two games. That's a lot. Uh, Geno Smith has been playing well. He uh, ran 20 times so far for 140 yards, 72% completions, five touchdowns, and two interceptions. Um, who else? The old line has been messing up a little bit, false starts, and they gave up seven sacks last game. That's just last game. Uh the running back, he could be good. Kenneth Walker, uh, he is good if they used him. He was out the first two games or first game, and then he had a good couple games in the last game. They uh, didn't really rush, but they utilized him. He, he got a couple catches for like 50, 60 yards. The last two games together, he probably had 100 yards receiving. Uh, Charbonnet, Zach Charbonnet. The second back, uh, he's usually supposed to be the receiving back. They both are. Uh, he gets a couple of receptions and a couple of yards a game, as well as uh, maybe Ron carried the ball like three, four times running, if that. Um, DJ Metcalf, receiver, big receiver, good for uh, big yardage plays, and uh but he's been having ball problems, ball security problems. He uh, fumbled the last two games, actually. You got Smith, Injaba, Ninjaba, the wide receiver. He's good. Slot receiver. Uh, you got Lockett. He had 22 receptions, 275 yards, averaging uh, 12 yards of play. You got tight end Noah Faint, 14 catches. He's been quiet, but good. Uh, you got that rookie tight end, A.J. Uh, Barna. Uh, Seattle should run an up-tempo, fast D, uh, offense to try to keep Bosa and uh, Floyd, Leonard Floyd, on their toes. Because if they don't, and they sit there and use the play clock, they're going to give them time to set up. They're going to pin their ears back, and they're going to go get them, have another six sacks like like uh, Smith got sacked last game. Um, also, when Bosa comes out, they got to take advantage of that, and that's when they got to take them shots downfield when he's on that sideline. Uh, he really can change the results of the game. He's, he's 
He's a beast. Um, 49ers D. They lost uh, two digit. They lost two leads. Uh, two double digit leads. They got to close out better. It's definitely been a problem. Uh, they had a couple big uh, pass interference plays that basically cost them the game as well. Right, they're, they're messing up. Look at the money. Uh, what else? Uh, Floyd just said that uh, good special teams. They got this guy, Elliot. He bought the field goal last week, ran it back for a TD. They got uh, the nickelback, Givens. He leads the, the backs with uh, three and a half sacks. Uh, you got a decent tackle. D. Winters, rookie from TCU. Uh, we got Campbell. He's second on the team in tackles. Fred Warner. Uh, I don't know if he's playing. He was hurt, and it's a short week. But uh, for the year, he got three forced fumbles, two interceptions, and a TD. And he leads the team in, in tackles. So. If he's not in there, it's going to be a problem. As well as uh, 49ers safety, uh, if he don't play, it's, it's going to open up the field. They, both these teams have good receivers, uh, good deep threats. You know, uh, Seahawks got two big guys too. Metcalf and the other guy, uh, Injaba or whatever. So if uh, Javius Ward is out, we're not up to 100%. It's going to be a problem. Uh, cornerback Leonard, he got good. He's going to have to step up. He got 24 tackles. He's good. But uh, that's enough of that. Uh, hopefully, it's a shootout. It's a high scoring game. Some good play props like uh, the other, the other, what was it, Thursday night? Was it last Thursday? Seahawks versus Rams? Was that the game? But. Uh, or Detroit. It was versus Detroit, I think. I don't know. It was a good game. Uh yeah, and what's his name through for through eighteen for eighteen. So watch out. Watch out now. Yeah, so I think 49 is gonna win. What do you think the score is gonna be? Put it down in the comments. I think 33, 27, 49ers. I got some play. Next up, uh this play is for you. If you could hit that like button, uh, if this worked out for you or my other videos, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on. So you get all my plays, my live bets, uh, anything I do, I give them to you. The uh, only thing I ask you to do is like and comment, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I appreciate everyone who does. Yeah, let's get it. Geno Smith. Uh, rushing yards. This number went down. I played it at 14 and a half, I think. Uh, they got it at 13 and a half. Always line shop, have multiple books. You get it at 10 and a half, minus 160. 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Yeah, I played it 13 and a half, I think. What did I play it at? Jeez Louise. Wow, 14 and a half. You guys are getting two on me. Wow. Um, overall, San Francisco's ninth uh, rushing yards allowed to the QB to rank 20th, allowing about 25. Now, for the year, Geno's gone over this three out of five. 72 last game, 38 the game before. He got three games above 30. Uh He's been, you know, in the league for years. He's, he's definitely not afraid to scramble. Uh, he's averaging about four attempts a game. Average yards per rush, 7.5. Average long is 12. 
He's averaging two yards after contact, and that's a QB. He succeeded 12 and a half, five of his last six games at home. Uh, they do 67% passing, 33% run plays. So, excuse me. So, uh, gives them more chance to run, you know what I mean? And with Bosa and Floyd coming, uh, you know, they could flush them out the pocket or just, it might be the end of the game type shit too, down to the wire, get that first down, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, Geno Smith, rushing yards over 12 and a half. I got a beat. Receiving yards over 19 and a half. Uh, I got it for minus 110. I got it at minus 162. This line actually went up. 21 and a half. And then it went back down. It went back up. Jumping up too. Uh, get it at 21 and a half. Still feel comfortable with it. Did drop him in the community last night. Uh, that's another reason why I subscribe and turn on the notifications. So you got a head start. Uh, he's exceeded 21 and a half in four of the last five games at home, averaging 35. Uh, they've been running a lot of pass plays, 67%. Um, averaging four receptions, five targets. Last game he had eight with seven, five with four, three with two. Countdown. Uh, average yards per reception, eight. Long reception, 13. Yaks, 42 yards after the catch. Sixth on the target list. Then San Francisco overall ranked 12th in receiving yards allowed. Running back ranked 26th. So they allow him the back to get some catches and some yardage. Uh, you can do, you know, I was jumping around between his, uh, I was going to do his rushing and receiving and put them together. This, uh, I feel like they should run the ball, but uh, and he gets both. You know what I mean? Obviously, you see. So his receiving, he only played three games so far. He was hurt the first two, but his rushing yards. Hundred and three and eighty. So uh, he's been getting to it, rushing and receiving. He had a multi-touchdown game, too. Uh, that could be a play, too. Slip a little bit, a little, a little sprinkle on two touchdowns for him before he gets the first one. It's possible, you know what I mean? Uh, he got an 87 and a half. He's been going. He went over this two out of the three. Rushing yards allowed, that's probably why I didn't do it because it ranked 11th and 9th. But uh, I just think the receiving yards, he can do that in one play, two plays. But uh, let's get it, Kenneth Walker. Anytime touchdown is good for him too. It's probably like 110, 120 though, minus. And same game plan, same theme, same motive. Different player, uh, Charbonnet, Zach Charbonnet, receiving yards over 13 and a half. Uh, running back, ranked 26, blah, blah, blah. FanDuel 110, DraftKings 120. Line shot, line shot. Look at this. Bam! Clear this every time this year. Even with Walker, five receptions, five targets. You know, at least they're trying to keep them guessing. He's exceeded 13 and a half, four of his last five games at home, averaging 20. 
Uh, he's actually right above Faint and Walker in receptions. Targets, I mean. Uh, average in three, average yards per reception, a little over six, long reception, average in nine, 25 yards after the catch. So he's getting to it. Getting to it, getting to it. Uh, yeah, I like it, so let's get it. Cha ching. Noah Faint, Faint, Faint. Fant, Noah Fant, 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 receiving yards, over 20 and a half, uh, minus 110, Fandle, ah, uh, I guess it bumped up a little bit, saying open at 21 and a half, should be off sometimes, if it open at 21 and a half, how do I get it at 20 and a half, minus 110, I guess a different book, but why would I not say 20? Anyway, it went up to 22, 23 and a half, uh, and came back down slowly. It's the tight end. Cleared this the last three games, averaging 24. You always do the median, not the average. It's a little bit different. It's like... It's hard to explain. I used the whole video already. It's not hard to explain, but it can be like the middle and not the peak. I don't know. It's kind of. But uh, yeah, so receptions and targets, averaging about three. You see how it's on average? It's just 2.8, 3.6. Hit it with the median, two and three. Uh, target shares. Average yard per reception, 10. Long reception, 14. Averaging nine yards after the catch. Um, San Francisco, ranked 12th in receiving yards. Ranked fourth to the tight end. Ooh, cold. Cold as ice, willing to sacrifice. Uh, he's the tight end, number one tight end. They do have the rookie, A.J. Barna, and they do have all the good receivers. But it, the tight end just gets plays is how it happens. Third downs, uh, you know, uh, two-minute drills, end of the game, like, you know, end of the second quarter before halftime. Those are the type of times that he gets it. Uh, end of the game, uh, trying to go, having to get that first down. Uh, don't have timeouts. You got to use that sideline. Or, you know, or just running some nice slants. Sometimes it's right off the rip, tight end, get the ball. It gets the, the comfortable, the, you know, like uh, makes the quarterback getting routine comfortable. Hit a couple plays and, uh, then he takes a shot downfield. 67% passing. Like I've been saying. So he's throwing that ball. Head to head, he's cleared this going back to last year. I don't know why I'm trying to like talk myself into it. I already bet it. I'm not worried. You see something like that and you're like, ah. But the, the fact of the matter is, yeah, they're good at possibly stopping tight ends, but. He's going to get it. Let's get it. Noah Faint. Font. Faint. Noah Faint. Font. Uh, Kyle Juszczyk. Juszczyk. Uh, he's a beast. He's the fullback overall. Seattle. Receiving yards. Ranked 10th to the fullback. Ranked 30th. Doesn't necessarily mean they give up a lot of yards. It could have just been one or two. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, He's got no rushing yards and like 11 catches or so. Uh, you know, sometimes throughout the game, they end up hitting him when it's unexpected and he'll bust out a big play. He almost scores, gets real close to that end zone. 
Uh, this might be the day he actually gets in. He's cleared this three out of five. Uh, averaging one reception, one target. Averaging nine uh, yards per reception, about eight long reception. So basically, he's averaging, you know, if he gets one, he should go over this. He's got a couple decent ones 40 yards, 19 yards. Uh, I just like the spot. I think they're going to run the ball some. Uh, might cause a little confusion, and he's going to slip away in one of those plays, and uh, he's going to be able to get that check down, or he could even be like run up the slot between the numbers. Uh, I've seen him catch over the shoulder. He, he can catch like a wide receiver. He's good. Uh, it's going to be a little sneak play. I just got a, I got a feeling. All right, so... Kyle Juice check. Let's get it. Come on, buddy. Seven and a half. Florida sack plus one fifty. Jeff Kings. So basically, if he just, you know, gets a guy, gets the quarterback with someone else, he gets a quarter sack, half sack, quarter sack, full sack. He's got two for the year. Two full ones. Uh, like Smith got sacked six times, seven times last game. They're going to show a lot of attention towards Bosa. Uh, I just feel like it's a good spot for him. Uh, overall, 29th in sacks against, so they allow a lot of sacks. Seattle. Uh, Versus his position, 26th. So uh, it just seemed like a good spot. All right, I appreciate everyone. A uh, long video. Sorry, it was a stressful night, stressful day, not much sleep. Uh, it was kind of my getaway, just chatting to you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, let's get that money. Ace money to name, getting paper to gain. Let's go. Uh -huh.